ओम शांति दिस इज दी साकार मुरली ऑफ सिक्सटीन ऑफ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एसेंस स्वीट चिल्ड्रन यू हैव टू मेक अबाउट टू रिमेन प्योर देर इज नो नीड टू गो ऑन हंगर स्ट्राइक और स्टे विदाउट वाटर रिमेन प्योर and you will become the masters of the world question at this time who are the best of all in this world and in what way answer at this time the poor are the best of all in this world because the father comes and meets the poor the wealthy do not listen to this knowledge the father is the lord of the poor he makes the poor ones wealthy song what has happened to human beings of today om shanti you children heard the song that is divine love which would be called godly love god is now teaching love he teaches you how to love one another there was such true love in bharat when it was the land of truth who created the land of truth the satguru the true father and the true teacher in front of whom are you sitting you are sitting in front of the true baba that is the one who gives true happiness the one who teaches true love and gives true knowledge everything in the land of falsehood is false it is also said keep the company of the truth there is only the one truth but countless things are false you are personally sitting in front of the unlimited father who makes bharat into heaven the one who gives the unlimited inheritance he has come once again to give you the unlimited kingdom there is only the one true baba and you become the masters of the world by keeping his company at the beginning of devotion there is true worship of sib baba and that is known as true unadulterated devotion baba sits here and explains the knowledge of the whole cycle to you children to begin with there was unadulterated devotion of one sib baba and now he speaks true knowledge to you he liberates you from false devotion you are listening to knowledge from the true father you understand that this company of the truth will take you to heaven only with this true knowledge will your boats go across with false knowledge spoken by others your boats sink that is called ignorance only the father gives true knowledge you children have understood the history and geography of the whole cycle therefore this true baba is also the true teacher in the golden age too you have true fathers because there is nothing false there 
there god is not said to be omnipresent falsehood begins when the five vices that make everything false come into existence it is now in the intellects of you children that you are personally sitting in front of the unlimited in corporeal father this baba also says i am sitting personally in front of that baba i remember him i remember him again and again i am baba child am i not you have to forget this corporeal father and remember that one for me there is only one baba there may be a little hindrance for you but why should there be any hindrance for me your vision is drawn to this one to whom would my vision be drawn i have a direct connection with se baba you have to make effort to remember se baba you have to cross out this corporeal one so that you do not remember him however for me there is only one se baba although there are two sitting in front of you there is only the one in front of me i am his child nevertheless i am not able to stay in constant remembrance because baba says you are a karma yogi this whole cycle turns around in your intellects you have passed this many births in the golden and silver ages and having taken these births you have completed the cycle of 84 births there is an account of 84 births once the end of the iron age is reached the new cycle begins and the history and geography repeat who existed in the golden age where did they rule you understand that the deities used to rule over the whole world now people say don't cross our frontier don't drink our water baba is the master of the unlimited baba says remember me it is not this baba who says this in corporeal baba says to you souls through this one remember me and you will never then fall ill or become diseased there here some fathers had children they brought up them and suddenly they died so the family experiences so much sorrow and then have to work for their livelihoods this is the land of sorrow the father doesn't give you any difficulty he simply says remember me and your sins will be absolved remember the father and the inheritance although a son understands that he will receive an inheritance from his father he still learns how to run his own business he would not just sit waiting for his inheritance however those who take birth in a royal family wait for their inheritance after giving a lot of donations and doing a great deal of charity they receive a birth in a royal family and then they look after the kingdom these kings are impure you will go and take birth to pure kings in the home of lakshmi and narayan or somewhere else in the kingdom of the sun dynasty 
there is no trace of sorrow there at all you will be free from all sorrow baba comes and gives you patience this is now your final birth this has been your state for birth after birth children have been falling and have reached the land of sorrow how can the land of happiness come there is a lot of sorrow here and any happiness is only temporary even important people have nothing but sorrow at the moment the poor are the best of all baba has come to make poor ones wealthy donations are only given to the poor everyone here is ordinary however no matter how much you explain to those who have millions of rupees they still have such pride in their wealth baba says what wealth can be given to such people i am the lord of the poor the poor kumaris and mothers take this knowledge there is so much respect for a kumari everyone worships her then when she marries she becomes a worshiper for half a cycle we were worthy of being worshiped and then we became worshippers a kumari becomes a worshiper in the same worth a kumari is pure but after marriage she becomes a worshiper impure she considers her husband to be her god and bows her head to him and lives like his slave therefore baba comes and frees you from slavery the number of children continues to increase you can explain we are children of prajapita brahma and grandchildren of se baba we have a right to his property his property is unlimited he makes us into the masters of the world his order is children remember me alone i tell you the truth that you will become lakshmi from an ordinary woman and narayan from an ordinary man there is no need to have a system of fasting previously you used to perform many such penances some didn't eat for 7 days people think that by having such a system of fasting they will be able to go to the land of krishna in fact the true fast is to remain pure they starve themselves by force you children don't need to go on hunger strikes etc yes you just go on strike to become pure we will make everyone pure that is our business nevertheless nothing will happen by not drinking water or not eating simply promise to be pure women experience a great deal of sorrow when their husband dies you can go and explain to them that the husband of all husbands has now come he says just remember me alone and you will become the masters of heaven that is the husband of all husbands and the father of all fathers if someone's husband dies explain knowledge to her and get her engaged to se baba ask her why are you crying and then explain that no one cries in the golden age here everyone continues to cry 
in Bharat there was the true kingdom of deities. These days people injure and kill one another. This is a devilish kingdom. The picture of Lakshmi and Narayan is very good. There is a whole set. The Trimurti, Lakshmi and Narayan and Radhe and Krishna. If you were to look at these pictures, every day you would remember that Sib Baba is making you dad through Brahma. Write on a small board and put it up outside your own home. By knowing the unlimited father, you can claim the status of self-sovereignty for 21 births. Gradually, many people will read the board and come to you. You are imperishable spiritual surgeons. You are passing the course of spiritual surgery. You need to put up a board. Tell them by remembering that father, you will receive the unlimited kingdom. Baba has written many good questions. How many spiritual children does Baba have? He is the one with many children. Both brothers and sisters are included in this. When you come to Baba, I explain how many Brahma Kumars and Kumaris there are. I have many children and the number of children is growing. You can explain that we are brothers and sisters. We must not have vicious vision. The father says, together with bodies, also forget the false relationships of bodies and remember me and you will become pure. You promise to belong to no one but one Sib Baba. If the old mothers were also to remember these words, these there would be great benefit. We have taken 84 births and we have now become Brahmins and we will then become deities, warriors, merchants and sudras. You must definitely become Brahmins and you will do so, as you did a cycle ago. Countless souls will become Brahmins. The Brahmin children who are now abroad will also emerge. They continue to remember Baba. Baba says, while staying with your families, consider yourself to be souls. Consider yourself to be a grandchild of Sib Baba. We Brahmins will become deities. In the Iron Age, there are humans, whereas there will be deities in the Golden Age. All human beings in the Iron Age are devilish. You are now becoming those who belong to the Divine Community. Only the Father says these things. No one else can tell you about any of this. No one else knows about these glands. Only you Brahmins can explain this knowledge. Others cannot understand any of this until they receive knowledge from a Brahma Kumar or Kumari. Only you can give this knowledge. This requires a very clean heart. If the heart is clean, all desires are fulfilled. Some don't have clean hearts. You should become busy with clean hearts in the service of the true father. You should have this hobby. Our job is to explain you understand that although you beat your heads over 108 souls, 
it will perhaps only sit in the intellects of one of them. One or two may emerge those who emerged a cycle ago. Those who became Brahma Kumars and Kumaris will be the ones who come now. You must not get tired. Continue to make effort and someone or other will emerge. Wherever you go to your friends and relations or to weddings etc. You can explain to them. Advice is given to each of them according to each one's karma. The main thing is to remain pure. Sometimes you may even have to eat outside. Acha, children, if you stay in remembrance of say Baba, Maya will not influence you. But Baba doesn't give this permission to everyone. It is seen that it may be a desperate situation or that their jobs may be at stake. Each one is given different advice. The world is very bad. You have to live with many. There is a story about a guru who, in order to test his follower, told him to go and live in a lion's cave and to go to a prostitute. In fact, there was not a test. This applies to you children. You will not be sent to lions. The father explains, give the father's introduction to anyone who comes. Day by day, the lock on everyone's intellect will open. The tree has to grow. Destruction will then begin. Destruction cannot take place before then. A kingdom is being established here. The father says, simply remember me. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children. And the spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father. Essence for Dharana Number 1 In order to imbibe knowledge, keep your heart very clean. Engage yourself in the father's service with a true heart. Don't ever tire of doing service. Second, make this promise, mine is Sib Baba alone and none other. Renounce bodies and falls, bodily relations and have all relationships with one. Donate the wealth of knowledge to the poor. Blessing, may you be cooperative with the awareness of your fortune and the bestower of fortune and thereby remain constantly happy and share that happiness. The confluence ease is an ease of happiness. It is an ease of pleasure. Therefore, remain constantly happy and continue to share this happiness. Always remember your fortune and the bestower of fortune. Having found the Father, you have found everything. This awareness will make you an easy yogi. People of the world say that you cannot find God without any hardship. And you say you have found the Father while sitting at home. You have found what you didn't even think of. You found the ocean of happiness. Stay in this happiness. This is easy yoga. Slogan Those who carry out every task with cleanliness and in the right way 
are true Brahmins. Om Shanti